welcome back so in this video I'm gonna be doing another upcycle and um, what you're gonna need is a vase so I just have this one which actually my sister gave me she didn't want it and she knew that I would upcycle it or do something with it and she's not wrong also some clay this is really affordable and it's about one kg's worth of clay in here so plenty of other DIYs that I can do with that now you've seen what we're gonna be working with let's get straight into the video Okay, so I've just gone ahead and washed the vase just with some soapy water and now we're going to get some of the clay and we're just going to roll it out. So I don't actually have a roller, I have a pestle I think it's called. This is what I'm going to be using. So if you don't have anything like a roller or anything then yeah just use whatever's round uh, that kind of shape so that you can roll, thing, roll it out basically. I'm just going to cut off little bit of the clay Whoa. okay so I have my clay now and I'm just gonna bring the video in a bit so what you want to do first is simply roll out the clay making sure that it's even on both sides I then cut out two strips from the clay these are going to act as part of the handles for the vase now to secure the handles in place, you need to push down the top part of the strip to the top of the vase and then curve the strip down until you get the shape that you want. Then press the bottom part of the strip down firmly and there you have your first handle and on to the next side. And you just need to keep moulding and playing around with the strip until you get the desired shape you want. I also found it really useful to apply water to the clay. This helped me mould the shape a lot easier and also smooth out any imperfections. Once you are happy with the shape of the handles, you just need to leave this to dry overnight and by the morning it will be set and ready to paint. this is all dry you can see the handles are nice and secure on there if they aren't secure then just take them off they should still be intact and you can just um, hot glue gun them back onto the vase so because you can still kind of see this texture here what I'm going to do is um, get my bowl and put some plaster in that and um, we're gonna mix it together so I've got my bowl, got my plaster, and I'm just going to put all this into the bowl. And then add some water. And stir it together. So this time, I've not done this before, but I'm actually going to add some chilli flakes into this just to give it a bit more texture. So we need a bit more powder. So here are my chilli flakes. So it's just these ones here. So now it's time to add the plaster to the vase and as you can see here, I'm just using a paintbrush to do this. To get the effect that I wanted for the vase, I had to do a sort of dab and drag technique with the brush. I found that this was the easiest way to be able to disperse the textured areas created from the spices around the vase. all of 
the base of the bars. I'm just going to get a little bit of the um, paste and just do some of the handles quite lightly. Doesn't matter too much if there's not much texture on the handles. I just want it to all blend in and be like the same colour. Waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna actually just use the rest of the paste and just paint this glass jar. So this is just a jar from uh, Bolognese, so Bolognese sauce, and I'm just gonna spray that on. Waste not, want not, and all that. You can really see like the green and texture. So the vase is now completely dry, so you can kind of see the texture on there, which is quite nice, I like that. Um, but the spice colour is coming through, which I don't like, so I'm going to paint over the top with my raw linen paint. So I've got some left in there. Might need uh, another part, we'll see how I go. So just give it a little mix together. I just start painting on top of the pasta. over about three days hence why you probably see me wearing different outfits in every clip of this video um, I've just been in a little bit of a funk and just like being a bit like demotivated so I just took some time and also I didn't want to put out a video where I was filming with different lighting I don't use like a ring light or anything I just use daylight so I'm sat in front of a window right now so I just thought let's just wait until it's light again outside and then I can just film the rest of the video and I feel a lot more better and um, yeah ready to film so I'm going to film another video after this as well and I've got so many ideas in mind for some DIYs I've made a list of things and yeah really really excited to show these ideas because I think yeah you're going to be shocked this is one of the finished projects that I've got this one is just the um, bolognese sauce jar that I decided to DIY and it just um, kind of shows you that you can upcycle just items that you are going to throw away. That could just be a nice little ornament on display, you could put it on top of a book, you could put um, some pampas grass or just any flowers in there and I just think, um, yeah, for next to nothing, the price. Um, why not try something like that and then the vase which um, this was just with the clay handles so you can see that they are really secure actually like they're not really going to come off I wouldn't advise holding it from there all the time but um, yeah I think the finish on this looked really really with nice the glass jar I kind of dabbed with the plaster just to give it that more rocky um, finish as you can see and then the other one is more of a flatter like um, still got still got texture in there. Let me just get that. Still got the texture, but it's a lot more. Um, I'm not really sure of the word. <laughs> just a lot more neutered down um, compared to this one. But I think together they look really really nice. And yeah, so really happy with that. Um, I do while I'm here. I have some thing to show you. So I actually bought this from eBay and I am obsessed like that I just love it look how it falls so there was about I think it was a, a pack of 50 stems but I just think 
compared to, you know, the normal pampas grass that everybody is raving about, and I love it, I have it in my house as well, but this is just so much different and unique, and the colour, the tones, oh, I just love it. Um, so I thought, let me just see what it looks like in this vase. I've got no words. <laughs> I literally love this. I'll put the link to this um, Pampas in the description box below for you if anybody else wants to grab that. Definitely going to be purchasing some more because I just literally love it and it's so full. I could probably get more in there and make it even fuller. Um, but that is just gorgeous. So yeah. If you do try any of these projects that I've done, I would love for you to tag me in your Instagram posts or stories. Um, my Instagram is lavina.interiors. I'll link it in the description box below. I'll put it on screen as well here so that you can um, follow me. And I also put like DIYs on there and some reels and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely worth a watch. And also, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel grow and I love seeing your comments and I'm always replying back to everybody that is commenting and liking the video. So thank you so, so much. It really means a lot and I was actually amazed the other day. I woke up and I was like, what? <laughs> you know the vase video that I did, the DIY plaster vase? So that has over 6,000 views. Like, what? <laughs> I was so shocked. I mean, that might not be a lot to some people, but to me, I was just in awe with that. I can't believe it. So thank you so, so much. You've just made my day. But yeah, I've got so many more amazing ideas. Literally, I've written like a list of DIY ideas that I'm going to do and you're going to love it. So if you subscribe then you'll be the first to see the DIYs. Honestly, there's some really good ones coming up. So yeah, keep on watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! So yeah, this is what I mean about being in front of my window. <laughs> oh, it is so nice but it's just a little bit too much now. So. <laughs>